Welcome to our discussion on the importance of emergency training. Flying is statistically safer than driving. However, the unforgiving nature of the skies means that emergencies can turn fatal quickly. A majority of aviation accidents stem from pilot error, highlighting the critical need for comprehensive emergency training. This training equips aspiring aviators with the knowledge, skills, and presence of mind to navigate challenging situations. Emergency training isn't just about memorizing procedures. It's about understanding the why behind them. It's about developing the ability to think critically, react decisively, and adapt to unexpected events. This type of training bridges the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application. Statistics show a significant decrease in accident rates among pilots who undergo rigorous emergency training. This underscores the life-saving potential of such programs. When pilots are prepared for the unexpected, they are better equipped to avert disaster and ensure the safety of themselves and their passengers. Today, we'll delve into the world of emergency training for student pilots. We'll explore common scenarios like engine failures, adverse weather conditions, and communication loss. We'll also examine the different types of training available and emphasize the importance of a safety-first mindset. Now let's talk about engine failure, a test of skill and nerve. Engine failure is a chilling possibility that every pilot must be prepared for. While modern aircraft engines are incredibly reliable, mechanical failures can still occur. During training, student pilots are taught how to manage an engine failure immediately after it happens. They learn to maintain control of the aircraft, execute a safe descent, and identify a suitable landing spot. This often involves landing without engine power, a maneuver that requires precision and nerves of steel. Training simulations and real-life stories of successful emergency landings underscore the importance of staying calm and following procedures. One such story involves a student pilot who experienced engine failure shortly after takeoff. Despite the high-stress situation, the pilot's training kicked in. They calmly went through their emergency checklist, identified a nearby field, and executed a safe landing, walking away unharmed. This incident highlights the importance of being able to quickly assess the situation, make critical decisions under pressure, and execute learned procedures effectively. It's a testament to the effectiveness of emergency training in equipping pilots with the skills to handle such unexpected events. Moving on to navigating the storm weather-related emergencies. Weather is a significant factor in aviation, and unexpected changes can quickly turn a routine flight into a dangerous situation. Student pilots receive extensive training in meteorology, learning to read weather reports, understand weather patterns, and recognize potential hazards. They are also taught how to handle situations like severe turbulence, icing conditions, and thunderstorms. Training emphasizes the importance of avoiding hazardous weather whenever possible. However, when encountering unexpected weather, pilots are trained to make informed decisions about altering course, altitude, or even landing. This might involve using onboard weather radar, communicating with air traffic control, or relying on their understanding of weather patterns. Simulators play a crucial role in weather-related emergency training. They allow students to experience the disorienting effects of turbulence or reduced visibility in a safe environment. This helps them develop the necessary skills to maintain control of the aircraft and make sound judgments under pressure. By practicing in these simulated environments, pilots gain the confidence and experience to face real-world weather challenges. They learn to respect the power of nature and make decisions that prioritize safety above all else. Lastly, let's discuss radio silence loss of communication. Clear and reliable communication is vital for safe air travel. It allows pilots to receive instructions from air traffic control, stay informed about other aircraft in the vicinity, and get updates on weather conditions. However, there are times when communication systems fail, leading to radio silence. Loss of communication can be a disorienting and potentially dangerous experience for a pilot, especially a student. Training prepares them to handle such situations by teaching them established procedures and backup communication methods. They learn how to use visual signals, switch to emergency frequencies, or rely on alternative navigation systems. Training also emphasizes the importance of staying calm and thinking clearly during a communication failure. Pilots are taught to avoid making hasty decisions and instead focus on maintaining control of the aircraft and following established protocols. They learn to troubleshoot the issue, 
attempt to re-establish communication, and if necessary, proceed to a designated alternate airport. The ability to remain calm, assess the situation, and take appropriate action during a communication breakdown can be the difference between a minor inconvenience and a major incident. This highlights the crucial role of emergency training in building confidence and competence in student pilots. Section 5, The Power of Simulation, Mock Emergencies Flight simulators have become indispensable tools in pilot training, particularly for practicing emergency procedures. These sophisticated machines recreate the experience of flying with remarkable accuracy, including realistic flight dynamics, sound effects, and visual displays. They allow students to experience a range of emergencies in a safe and controlled environment. Simulators provide a safe space for students to make mistakes and learn from them without any real-world consequences. They can practice engine failures, instrument malfunctions, and other emergencies repeatedly until they are comfortable handling them. This repetitive practice helps ingrain the correct procedures in the pilot's memory. The use of simulators allows instructors to introduce additional challenges and complexities to test a student's decision-making abilities. They can simulate multiple system failures, adverse weather conditions, and other challenging scenarios. This helps students develop critical thinking skills and the ability to prioritize tasks under pressure. By providing a realistic and safe training ground, simulators bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application. They are invaluable tools for preparing student pilots for the challenges they may face in the real world. Section 6, Real World Triumphs, Lives Saved by Training. Countless stories from around the world highlight the life-saving impact of thorough emergency training for pilots. One such incident involved a commercial airliner that suffered a complete loss of hydraulics. The pilots, relying on their extensive training and teamwork, managed to land the aircraft safely, using only the thrust of the engines. In another remarkable incident, a pilot flying a small plane encountered severe icing conditions. The ice buildup on the wings forced the aircraft into a dangerous descent. However, the pilot, remembering their training, managed to activate a de-icing system they hadn't used before, stabilizing the aircraft and averting a potential disaster. These stories, and countless others like them, underscore the importance of comprehensive emergency training. They are a testament to the fact that training isn't just about passing exams. It's about equipping pilots with the skills and knowledge to handle real-life situations, potentially saving lives, including their own. Such real-world examples serve as powerful reminders of the importance of rigorous training and the potential consequences of inadequate preparation. They reinforce the message that safety is not a matter of luck, but a direct result of comprehensive training and a commitment to preparedness. Section 7. Regulatory Requirements and Recommendations Aviation authorities worldwide have established stringent regulations regarding emergency training for pilots. These regulations dictate the minimum number of training hours, the types of emergencies that must be covered, and the frequency of recurrent training. These standardized requirements ensure a baseline level of competency among pilots. Beyond the minimum requirements, many flight schools and airlines go above and beyond, incorporating additional training scenarios and utilizing advanced simulation technologies. This proactive approach to safety reflects a deep understanding of the importance of being prepared for any eventuality. Furthermore, aviation organizations and safety boards continuously analyze accidents and incidents to identify areas for improvement in training programs. This data-driven approach helps to refine training curricula and ensure that they address the most relevant and challenging scenarios. The combination of regulatory oversight, industry best practices, and ongoing analysis of safety data creates a robust framework for emergency training. This ensures that pilots are well prepared to handle a wide range of emergencies, contributing to the overall safety of air travel. Section 8, Safety, a non-negotiable priority. In the world of aviation, safety is paramount. It's not just a box to be checked, but a culture to be embraced and a responsibility to be shared by everyone involved. For student pilots, this means understanding that learning never truly stops. The pursuit of knowledge and the honing of skills are lifelong endeavors. 
Emergency training is not just about acquiring a license, it's about developing a safety-conscious mindset that prioritizes risk management and sound decision-making. It's about cultivating the discipline to follow procedures, even under pressure. It's about understanding that complacency can be as dangerous as any storm. Every time a pilot steps into the cockpit, they carry the immense responsibility of ensuring the safety of themselves, their crew, and their passengers. This responsibility demands a commitment to ongoing learning, constant improvement, and a deep respect for the unforgiving nature of the skies. Ultimately, the goal of emergency training is to equip pilots with the skills and confidence to bring every flight to a safe conclusion, even when faced with unexpected challenges. It's about instilling a deep understanding that in aviation, safety is not negotiable. It's an unwavering commitment.